Oh, we're back. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, we got a very special podcast here today. We're here with uh, one of the... One of the, uh, the what true, do you describe me as now? Um, I, I don't know. Like, probably just... <laughs> I don't even know. What's what your say. honest opinion, though? I want to know. Like, what, what's, what's am your I losing my mind? You? No, I mean, I think, I think, I think everyone just goes through shit, and you know, unfortunate for you, you're you have a big. I mean, not unfortunate. I mean, like, you have a huge following on social media, so your life is everyone is watching. You know, so like, it's just, it's it's tough to like when everyone's watching you. You just everyone wants to know your next move. So you know, when I went nuclear on the internet against Summer, what? that I had one million story views on my fucking story. Think about one that. Million 3, story 3, views. point three million fucking followers. I had one million story views on one story. And I go. Like <laughs> that's some crazy like, analytics. Yeah. No, dude, that's, that's 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 a fucking insane. I've never had even close. I've had probably like I averaged probably about, man, it varies, three hundred to you know, yeah, five hundred thousand. Yeah. And if I go off the grid a little less, but you know, one million was pretty like crazy. Like I was like, fuck, I'm doing something really right or I'm doing something really wrong. So what was it? When was the time you got one million story views? When I went nuclear on my ex-girlfriend. And then what, what, were, you, what were you talking about? I was playing a little Dirk. Oh, okay. That's my dog right there. I love little Dirk. Been yeah. in the studio with Dirk. Dirk invited me into the studio to listen to his new album um, with Rel. And I remember going in the studio and just <sighs> interesting setting. Yeah. And so I got a million story views when I just was like gone. I don't want to say off the rails, but when I just kind of talked about that situation, but that situation is done. And I fucked her for the last time here and now it's over. And your story is like, they're, they're usually up for like legit three or four hours, right? Are they not? Me removing shit? No, yeah. I mean like your stories are up for like three or four hours always and then you just delete them. Yeah. Like, what's, the, what's like the thought behind that? I'm curious. The thought behind that is, that, well, I usually, it, it depends. You'll see as I get out of this little mental state that I'm in that I had, you know, whatever. I restart every day, so I don't like do 24-hour stories. I feel that the, you get more story views if you restart the next morning, like if you clear your yeah. entire stories and start new and fresh again. Yeah. But I don't really like. I don't really. I don't know. I want. Like, I, I look at like, dude, when I do stories and shit, that's like my little movie. Like I did this. I start. I've been doing this for eight years. Yeah. Right. This online shit. I just like to shoot a movie. I want to shoot my life up until I die. Yeah. <laughs> no, I no, I agree. And Which I, might be tomorrow. Yeah, because what, what are we we're doing? To, we got some big plan for tomorrow for sure, dude. Tomorrow, me and you, pigeon, are going in. <laughs> I might be pigeon scrap in that fuck in that ocean. You're gonna tomorrow. be the pigeon to the great white shark tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna be shark bait tomorrow. You are gonna be. We, shark We bait. are gonna be, we are hunting sharks with Ax Sharks tomorrow. Ax Sharks, an extremely talented, amazing, amazing guy who understands. He survived on a life raft for nine days without food and water. On a life raft with no food and water. That's who's. That, so we're in his hands. Our goal is just to go there, and we're just going to kind of just follow him. He's like the but, guide. But we have no resources. Yeah, dude. we have no fucking resources. Yep, which is cool. Like you know, I like to do crazy ass shit. And, I and we're going to gonna be vlogging the whole thing. So stay tuned. And that's for on that. your YouTube yeah. channel. I mean, we're, we haven't really decided yet. No, it's I mean, on yours. We're going to okay. do it on yours. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll we're, we have we're going to be filming the vlog on that. It's going to be awesome. So yeah. it's going to be uh, quite quite the first YouTube video for sure. I mean, the goal is, and if you're not a pussy, yeah. The goal is when we are take that big fucking tuna head and we take that inflatable boat yep. that at any time a shark could bite. And if it bites that boat that we're on, we're fucked. We're fucked. Because we're like, we're like that as much as they submarine. say the great white sharks aren't, you know, or any kind of sharks aren't that aggressive towards humans. When you chum the water at the amount that we are, there is no difference between humans and just chum. It's all one. So if our inflatable boat does get bit, there's a chance that we die. <laughs> yeah. We're sinking <laughs> to the bottom of that Titanic. <laughs> Oh man, that was crazy, bro. Right? Is that like too old of a story now? No, nah, I think it's I think it's I think it's washed, right? It's in the wash. Right. I don't know. I, I don't know how I mean that that I don't think I wonder if I, if I was presented with that opportunity if I would have done it. Would you have done it if it was I heard free? Mr. Beast was actually presented with that opportunity and he turned it down. Yeah. Did, did he say why he turned it down? I don't I just think that he was like I, I, I he tweeted it and he was like, Yeah, uh something like along the lines of like I was offered to go on that. I don't know if it was that expedition, but he was offered to go down. And he, he declined. And he was probably not even offered. He was probably going to be ended up probably giving equity in the company. He probably was getting paid <laughs> yeah, to definitely. do it. Like, you know what I mean? With his level. Yeah. I mean, he can go and do. Picture with, what do you think that guy charges for an advertisement <sighs> on his podcast? I, 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 heard, uh, I heard something like he, he gets more uh, views than like the Super Bowl commercials. So like he charges like in, up the wazoo for like That's one. That's one rich motherfucker, man. I, I just could never do the vlogs because like, I mean, it's 
It just doesn't feel like real life to me. Like, really? I mean, when we were doing stuff with the Nelkins. I, I think real life vlogs, videos that aren't planned out in your life is just interesting in general. Like, mm -hmm. You have an interesting life, so like maybe a vlog would be cool, you know? Yeah. But like Nelk, Nelk I know like like how Nelk did their videos too. They do like, they switch from pranks to more so like vlogs and stuff too, which is. I mean, I'd open up a freezer and there'd be a fucking camera there. I'd go in their house and I'd open up like a there's, fucking there must be, I'd yeah, be banging that, my girl. There'd be like a camera there. What like, was that like? Uh, like, the, you, did you ever live in that house or no? Yeah, I lived in the Nelk house for a while. Well, what was it like living in the Nelk house? Was that the one, the second one, right? Um, Summer, you can walk across the stage. You're good. Everybody knows you're here. Um, living in the Nelk house was crazy. It was, uh, it was actually pretty business per usual. I mean, at the point it was Steve will do it. Me, Kyle. Uh, who was the old partner that is no longer there that was kind of in the, um, the beginning? Jimmy. Not oh, Jimmy. Uh, Jesse. Not Jesse. Nope. Um, Fuck. Lucas. L L Lucas. Lucas yeah, was the man. Yeah. And it was like, just Lucas would be up all night between the hours of like 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. Like just streaming so loud, screaming. I'd be in a bedroom just fucking passed out. Steve would be just with, I think, Selena at the time. I don't know. And Kyle would just be upstairs like just, you know, chilling. But yeah. it, was, it was, I mean, it was every, more, it was just all business per usual. Like, yeah. You know, we knew it. Well, our, our life was insane, bro. We would just go. It was just like me and you Kyle and content. Steve. And you just would pump content. Pump, literally. not even pump content because I didn't really get involved in all their content shit. Yeah. It was just more just like we'd execute the podcast on another level. Yeah. That's yeah. why it's like I get so disappointed when I see some of their guests now. I'm like, bro, come on, step it up. You guys can do better yeah, than that. Yeah, do you think the show has been better or worse since you've been off? My personal opinion? Yeah. Way worse. But like, I also, I'm going to take shit for that. But at the same time, I just felt that I'm going to be honest with you. I just think it's way worse because they're not trying as hard. I think that they know that they're already rich. Yeah. I think they've already made a fuck ton of money. They made a fuck ton of money off the Medicaid card. They made a fuck ton of money off. They're going to exit Happy Dad for who knows what. Um, they're killing their stuff. I mean, I think they're good. So I think that, like, you know, that they kind of slacked a little bit on the podcast when we exited because that's what made me and Kyle so good is we just stayed on top of each other. Yeah. You know, all the time. We were like, who's the best to get in this moment? That's what I was good at. I was good at reminding those guys, like, dude, fuck the guest. Let's get it. Who's the good guest in the moment? Yeah, because I know you got AB, like, after he took his shirt off. You had, uh, uh, Trump Jr. after Afghanistan. Like Hell, you, yeah. there was just like a list of like just of current events that were going on that you were just capitalizing on, which is really good too. And that's what it would have kept going at until too much money got in the line. Yeah. They knew they could cut me out. And, that yeah, was and, and I know that I know brands are willing to pay out because that they were you guys are really like the number one. Well, this is the biggest problem was with I, mean, I keep talking about it because the problem is people ask me, I'm gonna say it. I don't give a fuck. Like, bro, it's being handled behind the scenes. I don't give, I don't know how that's gonna end up. I don't fucking know. I don't really care anymore. Yeah. But I you know, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, when we're bringing a deal to the table and saying, hey, we own 30% of the ad share revenue, we're bringing a deal for a million dollars. That means 300000 for us. But no, wait, you can't do it because Happy Dad is sponsored. Yeah. And so is fucking Full Send Supplements. Well, it's like, okay, so we get zero because we're Happy Dad. We have 0% of and we have 0% of Full Send, Full Send Supplements. But we also promised on both sides. It's like, well, we got fucked. So, like, guys, come on, figure it out. And then stake whatever stake paid them. Which was... I know they paid Drake a lot. <laughs> Drake was paid, like, whatever. I mean, you can't believe anything you read on the internet. Yeah, I know, but, yeah, because he, when, he, when he bets on stake, I don't, I, there's no way it's his own money, right? He's, no, all those yeah. guys are... How does that work? So, it depends. I think every deal is different. I think yeah. that, that, that if you want to set up the deal where you're playing with play money, yeah. you can. And there's also times where you can set up the deals where you are playing with your real money. Oh, so, you, so, so you're betting with your own, technically, like, your ad money. You can bet with your ad money. Okay. Yeah, you can also sense. bet with play money, probably. I'm assuming any deal, every deal has different variables. Yeah. Like if you're a DJ and gambler and you want to take the fucking money and chips, I'm sure they can arrange that and they love that. Uh, if you're somebody who's not willing to do that, then I guess they'd assume that they'd probably pay you, uh, you know. You know, a lot of these companies are just offshore too, so it's not, there's not regulations behind it. Like yeah. when you work with DraftKings, FanDuel, all these guys, they're U.S. regulated. Steak. I think price picks is, I think, good, but a I bet too was like one all of those, those like Bovadas, all that. they're offshore. They're based yeah. in Costa Rica. They're based in Gibraltar. They're based 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 overseas. So the, there's no regulations. So it's yeah. kind of like the only things that protects you is if you go outside the U.S. I guess you can technically stream and promote the gambling, but you have to be outside the U.S. Yeah, and I, know, I like, just never really fucked with it. The offshore they, shit too much. We did something with my bookie reel briefly, but you know, it's just I, I'd rather find a deal inside the states. Did they ever they offered you a deal too, stake or no? I mean, the problem like, was I was like wrapped big up gambling sites like like DraftKings too. Probably DraftKings and them. We've taught I me. Mean, Kalish is a good friend of mine. I had him yeah. buy fucking. Matt Kalish called me and asked my opinion on the Medicard. 
Yeah, what, what, what's the deal with the MetaCards? Like, what, I know they don't really talk about MetaCards anymore. I'm I curious. mean, it's, I don't know if they don't talk about MetaCards anymore. I don't really follow it anymore. I mean, I know I was very heavily activated, like, in the Discord, and I did a lot yeah. for the community when I was involved. I had a small piece of it, dude. I had a percentage and a half of a MetaCard. A MetaCard. I had a percentage in a and a half. crypto wallet, like in a Ethereum wallet? Like, how does that work? Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. basically, you know, you get paid. I mean, yeah. I'm guessing if the payments all come to, 25 million comes into a wallet, however they want to do it. I didn't look at that. Yeah. But my payments that we're getting are coming to the Ethereum wallet, then they'll then be exited to a bank account. Yeah. Right? So that's how it was. It was one lump sum. It was 1.25% 1.25% of the MetaCard. It was okay. all I got. Yeah. Or not all I got, but what I got. And I know what the... And I had to fight tooth and nail for that. I remember being in California with Steve, John, all of us in the house... And it was just watching twenty five million dollars just come in and that was I, I remember watching that video. I think they did like a vlog of like when MetaCard dropped, I wanna say. Or like they did a video or something. And I, I'm pretty sure you were in it too. And uh, it was just like the the numbers were just like they like sold out like the floor literally it was like it was insane. I mean look, I think that like and they jumped on an opportunity. I think that like NFTs are kinda of at a point now where I think they're pretty much dead. There hasn't been a lot of successful ones like yeah, we talked no, about for before. Sure. The panda one that uh the Pan, I think Kenpai Panda Run, whatever, was the only one that I know that I've worked with pre previously where they opened at 400 bucks a pop and now they're worth 3500 a pop. Yeah. But there's very few of those. And I think, like, overall, just the NFT market in general, like you said, is just, like, just tank. But, like, crypto in general is just down for sure. Yeah, I don't know enough about it, so I just yeah. don't know. All I know is that I, I just went there and I saw what they were doing with that, and I was just like, you know, I want, I want to get a piece of it because I'm involved, and I know they're going to be promoting the podcast. Yeah. So I went to John and Kyle, and I remember walking on the bridge. John had his hands behind his back, like, walking like an old guy, like, fucking and Kyle and I, and we're going back and forth, and I'm like, you know, 5% of this thing I want. And then it went down, and we went back and forth, and then the edge, by the edge of the bridge that we got to, we finally agreed on a number, yeah. and then that was what I got. And then, yeah, I, I know you are just talking I about I would give it back willingly right now. Oh, you would. I would give it back willingly, the money for the medic card. Wow. They want it back, give it back. Because I, I, I just, I don't see a lot of progress being made, and it frustrates me. So were you involved, were you in uh, when the Shahidis came into Nelk, or is that, or is that? I think I met Shahidis after Dana White. I don't know, though. I could be wrong. But I, met, I think I met him after so Dana were you White. So were you involved in Nelk when the Shahidis came in? Before, was it before or after? Um, I, it was, I think the Shahidis came in first. Okay. But I don't think I really met and got familiar with John until the podcast started, like, getting a little... What was your overall, like, relationship with them? Like, from John the start, and I? From the start to finish, yeah. Oh, man. John Shahidi and I. Uh, just constantly busting each other's balls. Just fucking... I think I had, a, I had a really good relationship with John. Yeah. Sammy and I kind of had a decent relationship, but not really whatever. But, uh, you know, they just... I don't know. I mean, they just... I don't know. I don't want to. I, I mean, what, John and I were cool. Yeah. What about uh, the rest of the note? Like, any, you still want to talk to, like, rest of the note guys or what? Not or really, because it's just hard to, because there's all legal stuff going on right now. Yeah. Even, even like, with Steiny, like, your old assistant? Steiny's the rat. So, <laughs> the rat. Rat, the rat will talk to me once in a while. He, you know, he tried he'll, he'll you know, he to you? sneak in and go into Summer's podcast. He tried to get Summer on the podcast to extract, extract information. Well, he tried to get Summer her, on what's and his what his I didn't know. What I didn't know was Summer actually was communicating with Steiny. Yeah. Which I didn't even fucking know, which is great. Am I being double fucked here? But uh, and so basically, uh, yeah, I guess they were in communications with each other, doing a podcast for one night and oh, with this with this new podcast, with this new night. podcast. Yeah. But I think she turned it down at the end. She she knew that the yeah, so rat couldn't get to her. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, I wonder is he is he like leaving full or did he just start his own podcast or do you not? No. So basically, the way that works is I'm guessing the deal was set up where they took a percentage of Shots Media probably backs the show. Yeah. Right, they have an ad. They have, I mean, they have, they have. They probably have a twenty percent take of anything Steiny makes. Yeah, because it's a, it's a full send branch. I'm guessing. But right? I'm saying just alone. I bet you they have twenty percent of his lifetime earnings. Okay, yeah. Right, that's what I bet you. They they probably set up with him, and then they they probably have a, a split on ad revenue. Which and is, I, and just another thing, I just and a cash. It depends if Steiny wanted to take cash up front, or if he wanted more back end. That's how these standard fucking deals usually work. Yeah, and uh, I recently watched another podcast you had just been on with uh, Money Buys Happiness, and I'm just wondering because I, re I read me. through the com I, re I read through the comments, and I noticed people were no uh, commenting on your side saying like Money Buys Happiness. In that intro, they they did they like spun away something you said. They made it seem like it really wasn't. What do you have to say about that? I just think it's ultimate disrespect. Yeah. At the end of the day, like, dude, I'm I'm pretty easy, man. Like, I was on my they met me on my worst day ever. Like, I was so depressed, I was so down and out. I was just checking into like a really heavy therapy thing and all that stuff. And 
John Sarasani, one of my partners, was like, last minute comes in the room. He's like, dude, we have this podcast to do. They're here. I'm like, fuck, dude, I don't want to do this. So I did it at the end of the day because I, I do like those guys. I've seen their stuff before. Yeah. But what they did was they just edited the, uh, the intro to make it look like I just had a cocaine problem. Like, I have not yeah. touched cocaine in out of probably seven years. I've probably done it like once or twice yeah. in a seven year period. That's it. Max. I remember like once, maybe like five years ago, I think I was like, I was like, oh my God, like it's awful. And that's fentanyl diet. Like, but they switched yep. the whole narrative. They made it look like it was, I relapsed on cocaine in the beginning to grab people. Yeah. It and was, I was like, like, bro, the that's intro, not what I said I, to you. I saw the comment. There was a few comments. That were talking, I mean, there's a bunch of comments were talking about like, yeah, they're like, they twisted that. Cause you were talking about Adderall, right? Weren't you talking about Adderall? Adderall was my thing. That was the only thing that really fucked me. And then me. they twisted into coke or something. Right? Which I guess is like kind of the same thing. I mean, Adderall is a, uh, Amphetamine. So your post. And my piss. My piss test uh, came up only in as a amphetamine. That's it. Okay. That's so the only thing that'll ever come up. I've never done another drug in my life. Weed, the gummies that I have launching, uh, and then uh, you know I drank here and there. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, that's it. Know, yeah. No, no other drug problem. And uh, I know you're just post uh, post like your rehabs too, right? Or not rehab. I want to like, call it rehab. It was like a five day intense therapy session. So how how was how did that go? Really, really good. I mean, I was okay. going through a lot of shit mentally. You know, I, I fell I, in love with this fucking girl and just fucking got fucked up for two months like a pussy. And then just it took me out of the game and then fucking ended up at the same time on top of that. Just like, I mean, that was the main thing that threw me off. You know, to be betrayed at the level I was betrayed at is just not fun for me. I'm not saying I was perfect, but at the end of the day, you know, not fun. And it fucked my head up and everybody can say you're a pussy for it. But at the end of the day, everybody reacts differently to different situations, right? Yeah. You lose like a hundred bucks. It might yeah. affect you a lot worse for a long period of time than it affects me if I lose a hundred bucks. Not for financial reasons, yeah. but just for the reason that like it may affect you just because it affects because your DNA, the way you're cut yeah. out to be. And I'm older and you know, so I was looking at, I, I had a, my vision for my life was a lot different than what I see right now. Yeah. I, I visualize a kid. I visualize a marriage. I visualize and that none of that fucking came to fruition. Well, when you started social media, what did what did you like envision? Like, what did you want when you started? Like, what what, what were you looking for? I was looking for um, when I first started social media. Yeah, when you first started social media, I was looking for. Uh, I think it just happened so quick, bro. Like, I blew up so fast. Yeah. Like my 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 growth was like I grew twenty thousand, thirty thousand a day. Yeah. On my shit, just because of my voiceovers, you know. Because, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to show people my talent. Yeah. I want to show people my voice. I had a great voice. I could do this little shtick. It was just a little shtick. And I think I got it at the right time and just was got OCD. And I had like, like as much as I was OCD at one point about trying to figure out who my fucking girl fucked or who sucked fucking what or whatever. Like as I was like obsessive compulsive on that shit as, as much like I get hyper focused on certain things. I was just so hyper focused on building and building and building. And so that's what I want to get back to. So, our, so for the fans, I know a lot of people have been like just watching your Instagram stories and stuff. Will they, will they be seeing the old Bob back soon or what? She just walked out the door. Did she? That's Did the last, leave? that's the last. That's a wrap? That's a wrap. That's, that's, that, that's Okay, a, wow, so. And that's a final wrap. So Summer has left the building. Summer so, was here for five days at Cape Cod. Fucked her a couple of times before she left. Uh, she means nothing to me uh, at all. I, uh, at not all. Not even a goodbye. Not, not even like. Not a, even a goodbye. She just walked out during the fucking she, show. And I'll tell you this going. right now. I'll tell you this right now. Wow. Okay. She means fucking nothing to me. Wow. That's like dry. And, and, I, and, I, and that, that's as raw as you can get. She just walked out the doors. You heard that in the background. I heard that the fucking door, open. door. She just walked out. She means nothing to me. She has gone out of existence. She's gone out of my brain. And it's time to get my fucking, you know, what a fucking pussy I was. So what do you have to say to the haters now? I mean, this, you're back. Just like, I mean, what, why would you be a hater? But here's the deal. You're either, you either fuck with me or you don't. Yeah. Either fuck me or you don't. If you're either a good fucking dude that's cheering for somebody, the internet works in such a fucked up way yeah. where it's like, dude, I'm at the point, I like no comments. I don't think about haters, comment. I really don't. I don't give a fuck about people talking shit on the internet. I'm past that stage of the game. And trust me, when you start growing up yeah. in this game and so many people are talking about you and like I've been in some wars with some motherfucking powerhouse people that I called out. Like the most crazy ass two wars that i was in was the portnoy and then nelk 
Yeah. So I went after Barstool as an individual. You went after I went the after two, Nelk, two, the two biggest powerhouses in the game. <laughs> I survived the Bob Bettery <laughs> survived. And look I at survived. Him now. Well, I survived the Portnoy onslaught. Uh, the Nelk onslaught is TB, TBD. Okay. Uh, no, but I, you know, it was just like I went. And then what happens is like when Kyle, because understand this, this is how it works. This is Bob on his yeah. cell phone. Okay. Bob on his cell phone decides, okay, let's go nuclear. Fuck you, Kyle. Fuck you. Pay me my fucking money. Fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you. Pay me my money. Send out to the world. Yo. In that send moment, when it hits the internet and I go send, it's like, like DMs are like, right? Like, and then it's like all of my people yeah. just now going to Kyle and being like, fuck you, Kyle. Fuck you, right? And so then, because you got a ton of loyals that like, I got a ton you, of you got loyals. a ton of rider dies. I got a ton of rider dies, as they fucking should be. Yeah, you know, I'm a straight up dude. And then so, then Kyle fires back at me. Yeah, and oh, like yeah. breaks it down, all this shit that, by the way, love you, Kyle. But come on, you know, breaks down all this shit. It's like then all of a sudden, it's like, like machine gun fire in your DMs. Like you're a fucking f fraud. Fuck you, pussy. Fuck it. And it's like, dude, it's a lot. To take in. So I've been through a lot of different like online battles. And so I'm at the point now I just like don't. It does not affect me at all in the slightest. That's just that's just It mindset. did though. It did. It caused so many like sleepless nights, bro. Yeah. Like back in the day. But now I could give two fucks. Yeah. I remember when that was going down. That was that was wild. Yeah. But I'm watch. so sick and tired of talking about Nelk. Like they're yeah. we're um, I moved on. They're moved on. You know, I'd love if they want like it's, just, it's too much. They're. Like yeah, there's, this there's, is a new chapter. New, this is a new chapter. As that door fucking closed, a new chapter just opened. Right? Come on, let's go. Like, come this, on. This is the new fucking. This is the new Bob Bennett right here. Do you know what? By the way, he, if your people are good. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Cut to what we just attempted to do, one hour ago. Go. Yeah. Oh shit! Good she's job, coming. Good job getting me here too. If it was just about a podcast, then you should have said that. What's that? I said if it was just about a podcast, then you should have said that. We tried our best. <laughs> we tried our best and it did not work well. But I want to say I thank you guys for covering that. Yeah. And please don't share that with anybody. Oh, of course. Uh, yeah. You know, keep that internal. Uh, I mean, I would normally have signed shit to me, but like, we, I trust you boys. It's an old yeah, school yeah, handshake yeah, deal. Yep. yep. You know, we it's witnessed, too late. It's too late. We witnessed a real episode of the Truman Show for sure. Yeah. I mean, should we just air it? I mean, I mean, I, I personally wouldn't, <laughs> but you know, I think we should just we should just throw that one in the bin. Maybe take. A clip I think out we just of, do yeah. little clips. Yeah, clips or clips will be fine. I mean, we tried our best. Yeah, we tried our best. I mean, definitely. Yeah, the attorney bills are adding up. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't air it. So, what's your goal? I'm gonna flip it on you real quick. What's yep. your goal with all this stuff? So, you're starting to. We had a conversation while yeah. you were sitting at the kitchen table. Uh, and your what's your goal with 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 your? How old are you? I'm 23. Yeah. 23. So at 23, I wasn't even close to anything. 28 had my success. What's your goals? My goal is to really just just have, build a really strong personal brand, similar to what you've done, and then leverage a business and do it. Obviously, don't know what the business is, but I really want to be like a household name. Like yeah, but I'm talking like, day to day goals. So like, are you like like focused on views right now? I mean, dude, I get so worked up sometimes because like my TikTok gets down, my views get down. I get so fucking like in my head about it. And then people about people are like, you gotta just keep posting. You gotta keep going. You know, what's your following count on TikTok? I got my TikTok is like, there and I got account warnings. It's like about to be shut down. Yeah, no, 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 I don't, I don't get, I used to get account warnings. I used to post more edgy stuff. And now I just kind of like, it's more like day in the life stuff. But I feel like I need to up my content a little bit just cause like, it's dude, not, if you go tomorrow yeah, and you jump on a great white shark, we're going to be, it's like, dude, any, here's the deal. First and foremost, what's going to happen is we're going to catch the shark. Yeah. And you got to be on its back. And I you will be fucking, on the fucking back of the shark. But I they don't go quick when you get them. Yeah. You understand. Oh, yeah. They, they fucking flip. And yeah. You got you to be, be, be real careful of the, because the, they'll swing around. Don't worry about it. They'll bite you. Yeah. They'll bite you. Yeah. I had my fucking, this right here. I don't want to show anybody that. That was from the shark. Dude, yeah, I, I'm ready. Nip I'm, my fucking toe. I'm warrior ready. Yeah. Nip my fucking toe a little bit. I spilled a little drink. But yeah. Um, but, but yeah. Yo, do you mind doing me a favor, brother? Do you mind pouring a little vodka in the uh, cranberry? And all that. Yeah, dude, it's going to be a great time. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, thank you for uh, having us here. I mean, it's fucking appreciate it. And uh, I, I called you in for World War Three operation. Just, it was like it was honestly like the perfect storm. Like I was what was, like, what was the what do you mean? The perfect storm? Like 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 not perfect storm, like perfect. Like like when you because we originally what we were going to do was we he called us up. I mean, he he DM me out of the blue. I mean, I've been not DM me out of the blue. I've been DMing him for a while to come on the podcast. I'm like, Bob, come on, please. Like, come on the podcast. And just no response. And then uh, 
he DM'd me. He's like, yo, come to the Cape. Let's, we want to film a podcast, and I'll do a podcast with you. I was like, okay. So instantly, I'm like, I'm like, we you had to plans to go to Scottsdale. Yeah, I was about to go to. I was supposed to go to Arizona today, and I canceled my flight. I was like, fuck this. More important. We're Dude, going to the Cape. What the fuck are you gonna do in Scottsdale? I know it's not that I'm what I'm gonna do. I I, I went to college here, so I have to pack up my house and like. It, it's, I, it's not, I'm not going there to party. I'm going there to like pack Dude, up. You're going like, there to party, bro. I mean, yeah, maybe yeah. I was going there to party too, but you know, I was. But I had to pack up my house. I got, my house and my car is there. Like I had a, there was stuff. I had, my lease is ending at the end of July, so like I had to go back anyways. And uh, Bob is like, listen, opportunity of lifetime here. No, no, I didn't not, phrase not, it as not, opportunity. Not of opportunity. Of I mean, I, I was phrasing. <laughs> I'm like, it. kid, you got a chance to make I'm it. I'm like, kid, kid. <laughs> I, I, that was what I was honestly saying. Oh, I was man. like, dude, this is literally an opportunity of lifetime. He's like, how would you like to go to fucking Nantucket to catch a shark? And I was like, done. Do we even actually have the exact DM of how it was written? I, I don't. I, it was something along those lines. I, I think it was like, basically like, dude, you're, you're like, yo, it was like, it was like in a 50 line DM. It was like, yo. Nantucket. And tomorrow. by the way, let's what see how doing? good your editing team is. Let's yeah. cut back to what you walked into just yeah. moments ago. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but uh, he was like, yep, let's do it. So instantly I called my boy and we're like, we're going to the Cape like tomorrow. Yeah. He's like, okay. And we literally packed up. I picked him up in like legit, where, where are you, like Worcester? I picked him up in like Worcester. You're in Worcester. And we drove like fucking what? Like two and a half? Three hours. Yeah, three hours. So, I, so this morning I, was, I went on, I went on uh, Kiss 108. Drove all the way. I drove an hour up to Medford. Then I drove west to fucking Worcester. What are you complaining? No. That's what it takes. You want to know what the this fuck is what I it did? takes, dude. Yeah. I, and I was down. I was like, I, I was hungry. I was literally like fucking biting my teeth thinking about that shark we're going to catch tomorrow. Literally. The good news is this about what you're doing tomorrow is it's always good to have like really cool fucking shit you do. Yeah. And then like fucking tie it to a potential to be ridiculous content. Like it will what be I want to take you on next is, you know, cause I do fuck with you guys. I respect you Appreciate guys for Thank you. helping me out for some stuff and vice versa uh, is I'd love to take you guys before it ends is to chase a tornado. I'm down. Yeah. I'm literally at name a time and place. I'll cancel plans and we'll, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's something that's there. what we talked about is just the, the, no, the fucking just, it. yes. It's you ever seen the movie. Yes, man. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think J that's when you were trying to be a, uh, on the come up of like building and trying to like create something and like followers or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Like, you just got to be a yes man. Yeah. And you got to do everything you can. And like, I, dude, I'm telling you, I didn't sleep like for obviously, I mean, I used to pound the Adderall stuff, but I also got a lot done from staying up off that shit. But like, you got to just be like, bro, I wasn't, there was nobody that outworked me during that. When I was in that danger zone, like a really fucking just by myself, no fucking chicks, no fucking nothing, like no bitch in the way, no fucking just Bob. Yeah. That's the most deadly time. Pussy the should lone never wolf interfere. like era when you're just this, now you're back. I mean, when that door fucking closed, just a new era just fucking. Yeah, but you know what's going to happen now when that door closed? What? This is the hardest part. This is what drags every guy. And every guy can relate to this, and every girl can relate to this. You think? There's nothing no, more no, dangerous no. than man. No, it's thought. like all of a sudden, I have, my sil I have my notifications on silence. Ding! That thing's going off right now. You think so? Sorry, I didn't get to say goodbye. I guarantee if you grab my phone right now. <sighs> Dude, the mind games. Are the, just mind games. the mind games. The mind games. Some girls play the wor worst mind games. I mean, it's tough. <laughs> When, dude, what are you I, laughing at? And cut back to our what? And cut back to our perfectly great relationship that just took place. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guarantee yeah. you it right now. How much you want to bet? Give me that fucking phone, and if it isn't, I will. I fucking can't deal with the mind right games. Now. Is calling right now? Is it? All right, we're gonna get real time. Let me see if do it we is. have. Do we have real time? You, have you have Instagram notifications on? There it is. No, dude, I don't have Instagram notifications. I'm like on. Jesus with that many. Wow! Wait! 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 Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. It is. Wow. You're, there is no. Okay. Tax. That's a so good sign. So we're back. We're back. Okay. That's a good sign. That's, a, th that's good. No, I honestly, that's good. You don't want, you don't want to get back. I mean, it's going to be, you can't get back. Good, I mean, did we see what just happened? No, we tried to no. sit down. No, Should we can't. play it one more time again? No. Like, look at this fucking <laughs> moment. Look at this moment right here. Look at it. Play the clip again. Run it again. <laughs> run it again. No, no, we're that's a viral it. reel yeah, right that's there. That's your reels, guys. That's a viral reel. Those are the reels I'll share that'll hit a yeah. million. No, oh, I know. Literally insane. But uh, it's time to get the old Bob back. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to get fucking, we're going to be buzzing tomorrow in Nantucket. Are you going to be, uh, what's your status with females? Be honest. So like a guy like 23 years old, good looking kid like yourself. Um, like you're, no, I'm yeah, old. Yeah, I don't I, know how fucking old. And I look at a girl now. I like, I can't tell. My age limit's like it's, 23, 24. It's tough. Now. It's can't. tough nowadays talking to a girl. I mean, if you talk to a really hot girl, okay, mm -hmm. you have to know right off the bat, she's probably talking to like 10, 15 other guys. I mean, that's just, that's just how it is. I'm not saying that's every girl. I'm talking about like just like, 
most like really attractive girls, they have 10, there were 10 guys probably like hit 10 to 15 guys. I'd say maybe I'm just exaggerating. Maybe it's not that, that are, that are 10 to 15. You're not exaggerating. It's a fucking hundred. Okay. Yes. So, okay. So I don't sound crazy. Yeah. So, okay. So it is. So you have 10 to 15 other guys. So you have to think, is this a, is this a competition between you and the 10 or 15? It, It shouldn't be. You, you should just be like, all right, you, you don't want to chase them, right? Bro, you got to build your business. Exactly. You don't want to chase them around. You don't want the, If you're chasing girls around, you're going to be fucking lost running in circles, right? I've given And it. I know you have a lot more experience than me, so you probably... I mean, well, what is your what is your opinion on that? 36 years old. You're yeah. 23. I got 13 years on you, right? Yep. Been through some crazy relationships, been through, built some crazy things and done a lot of things. The best advice I can give you if I could go back to where you are. Yeah. Fuck every single girl that you can. Don't give a fuck about them the next day. Focus on your business. Focus on your business. Build. Treat women with respect, though. Might yeah. retract my first statement of fuck. So, but like, you know what I mean? I'm just being yeah. honest with you. I think that, like, and if you fall in love along the way, just be extremely careful. And I don't even know what that means. Yeah. So if you fall in love along the way, I don't even what know. What do you do? It's a different variable every yeah. time. I don't think that this because sometimes like you will a hundred percent you will. I don't want to anymore. Yeah, I don't care. All my 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 painting that I painted, everything was going great, and I, I painted this perfect picture, kids, fucking this time, like all that shit, and it just totally backfired. Yeah, it just didn't. None of it happened, and so it's just like okay, now, I look at all the cons that came from all that shit. Where did it affect me the most was my business, and so now. Okay, let's get to, you know, back to the when I wanted to build this shit up from the beginning. Let's get that firepower back. Yeah. You know, so you just got to fucking just keep focusing on your fucking business. Yeah. Nothing else fucking matters. No pussy. Pussy will take down fucking everyone. <laughs> yeah. Pussy will take down everyone. 100%. And it really will. And I'm Even the best fucking people in the game. But still treat every woman you meet with respect. 100%. And fucking, you know, but still, pussy doesn't matter. It's just build your business first and just focus all on that. And then try, I guess, try not to get attracted, not to get feelings for fucking anybody. Because it just doesn't. It's Some just, wise words. But also, too, at the same time, when I was dating and shit, it was good. I always try to choose one chick by my side because it limited the risk of being like, you know, if you're fucking 30 different females. Yeah. Right. And like, or like say you're fucking, no, you're just, yeah, you can't, you can't be fucking like, 30. you can't yeah. be like, that's well, I mean, like, I, well with me, it's like too much, dude. No, I mean, I'm not like, fucking, but I'm like, you know, like for me, like I, bro, I don't like to like, I don't like who the fuck likes to go to bed alone. No. Yeah. And when you have the access, the reach that I have to like chill with hot chicks and like kick it. Yeah. Like, but then, but then, when does it become too much? When is it affecting? It, it your beca- yeah, when it becomes too much, it, it's, it's like when I went single. When I went single after all this shit went down, I like had a bunch of different girls. That I just went like spiral mode and just hung with, and like yeah. a lot of them are amazing people, and a lot of them were just whatever. But like I, uh, yeah, it became too much, and I was just like, yeah, all right, 100%. you know, that's why I'm just cutting off my dick and just that's it. My dick is being chopped off tonight. That's yeah. it. Taking my cock just off my body because it is fun to just fuck a different girl, I guess. I, would you I, rather gets, have the option of it falling? It gets old after a while, for sure. Would you rather have the option of falling right now? You have the option right now. You can press a button. You fall in love with one girl, and you spend the rest of your life with her every day in the most happily perfect picture world of all time. Picture perfect world. She's extremely loyal to you. She's amazing to you. You're amazing to her. It's a fucking amazing love story. For the rest of your life, you have two buttons. Or you can press the other button, and you can fuck anybody you want at any given time, a different girl every night, but you'll never find true love. Dude, that is one of the hardest questions I ever felt. Which one would it be? <laughs> you got to press the button, buddy. Hurry up. A lot of you pussies that talk shit in the internet, I want to know that question for you. But, honestly, like, I don't. That is the most insane question I ever I ever heard. Yeah, that's a good clip. Right? Because you know what my button would be right now? What, what's your, what was your... Fuck theme? every fucking bitch there is in the world <laughs> and never fucking be in a relationship ever again. This, this is as he's... Well, when have you technically been broken up, though? I think we've been, I mean, we've been, the thing is this, is we've been, I broke up my girl like two months ago and then. So you've uh, been single for like a few months now? Yeah. I fucked around a little bit and stuff like okay. that, but there was never, I never was interested in anybody else. Yeah. Like, I was just, all, I was very interested. Well, in yeah. Her. When you come off a relationship, I feel like it's the first few months or you like. You can't even look at anybody. Yeah. You can't, you're like disgusted. You like, just you don't can't like, like, you just like can't like look at it, especially if you really like at the point where I was like, bro, I was like in love it with It depends who broke up with who I feel like. Because like. 
Or if, who if, fucked who over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, if, Cut it's, to yeah. this clip right now <laughs> to see who fucked who over. <laughs> we have Peter in the box cutting that clip mm-hmm. right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I mean, but, like, the problem was then, obviously, my girl was, like, really hot. Like, summer. You just saw her, right? Yeah. Like, she's hot as fuck. You want to fuck her, right? Would you want to fuck Summer? This is a trick question. No, I just want to know. Be honest. Would you fuck Summer? I, yeah, I, I mean, I probably you would fuck Summer no. after all I've done for you. No, just kidding. <laughs> Clip that. Yeah, <laughs> you'd fuck Summer. <laughs> no, honestly, be honest. All right, so let me ask the on, yeah. on yeah. If Say I was like, be honest. Wait, you just trap me in there, no, guys. I didn't trap you. Say I'm like, hey guys, I gotta go to the grocery store, right? Yeah. And I walk to the grocery store, and I'm like, all right, go. And then Summer was like, hey, psst, like I just really want to fuck you right now. Be honest. Are you fucking that girl in my house right now? Like, as hot as she if is. If she was a random girl? No, she's exactly the situation that happened No, 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 no. If, she, if you didn't know who she was? No, she's my girlfriend at the time. No, oh. she's not my girlfriend at the time. She's single. We just dealt with the exact situation. She was single. I was single. She was here. But she's like, I want to fuck you. And she's in, like, a hot little thong. And she's like, I really want to fuck you. But, like, like would, you, really would, you, the would you have fucked her? Would I have fucked I, I mean... I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, like, this is a trick question here. I'm getting we, the, the yeah. sides just switched on the fucking Truman Show here. The Truman Show. Now is, I'm in my head now. Jesus. No, no, you're good. No, you, yeah, yeah, no. I, yeah, I, I, but just, um, pussy is tempting though. There's a lot, you know. There's so, a lot of pussy so there. they're beautiful women. What's making you not just go? Like, I'm sure you got a lot. You you can easily probably get another girl. Probably no. higher. Fuck that. I don't. I'm not focused on girls. I'm focused on NASCAR. Okay. I just yeah. did a deal. I just got a deal. No, I remember you were telling me about NASCAR. Yeah. So what? What's what's bringing that to NASCAR? So what? 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 Uh, what are your plans with NASCAR then? Uh, yep. July thirtieth, okay. I will be racing against Denny Hamlin. Uh, Where's that? Bubba Wallace, New Hampshire, Speaker, in Speedway? Richmond, Virginia. Okay. Uh, we are negotiating for the car right now. Yep. Um, so basically, we're taking control of the car. We will be in the main race against those guys. We don't have a lick of a chance of winning, but we sure disrupt because yeah. we fucked Denny Hamlin over last year or two years ago so badly yeah. that on, our car shouldn't even have been in the race so, at this point. The rotor exploded. It cut Denny off. Kyle Larson took a pit, did the fastest pit ever, and won and beat Denny because our car exploded on the fucking road. Yeah. So what uh, What type of, like, so you, how does it work? You have a whole car and you sell spots. I know you were telling me, like, you sell, like, spots of the car. Or do you have, like, yeah, the whole... I mean, so I'll, I'll just... It's like I, it's like a you buy the whole car. Yeah, so I just I, make, I, I go say hey 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 can you get me a NASCAR? Yeah. All right, cool. I'll take. Uh, I want to be in the main race. Yeah. I don't care who the fuck the driver is. I don't care if we win or lose, because I'm gonna bring sponsors in. We're gonna create amazing comedic content around it. Yeah. Because like shave, say like, company Shave Logic. Yeah. For instance, works with us like the razor. No company. free ads here. <laughs> no free ads. Yeah. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Whatever. Like fucking pick one. Uh, yeah. Whatever. We'll use the Shave Logic. Fuck. Yeah. Shave. Whatever. Like. They don't give a fuck if we win the race or not, yeah. right? Because we're advertising on our social medias, which 10x is the value of a normal, you know. Of, like a, of just like being on a NASCAR. Of just being on a yeah. NASCAR. So you have the regular NASCAR. Sponsor. So I'll buy that car out. I'll, it'll be blank because yep. I will not allow any other sponsor on it. I'll control the car. The whole car, yeah. I have the whole entire car from top to bottom. I can do whatever the fuck I want with it. That's Put a giant cock on it if I want. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can't. NASCAR does have restrictions. Restri- they actually would not let me put on Ripper Magoo on the car. Really? Because we were affiliated with Weed Brand now. Oh, wow. Yeah. But like, could you put like like your personal brand on the car if you really wanted to? If it well, wasn't I, if it wasn't Ripper Magoo, like say like like can I just put like Pigeon on a car? You like could put logo. You could put Pigeon There's on. There's no way they would let that fly. Would of course they? they would. Yeah, of course they would. Pit, if it doesn't have any ties to anything like that's like weed, drugs, anything like that. Yeah, I mean, I had well. Dana White's head with a mullet on it. Uh, riding around the freeway, I remember Dana called me. I needed to raise money for this car. It was one of my first experiences I ever did. And I called up Dana. I said, hey, Dana, listen, I have this NASCAR. I want you to be in. And Dana was just like, I don't give a fuck, Bob. I'll support you because he's the fucking man. So he gave me X amount of dollars. And I said, well, Dana, what do you want me to promote? The UFC, this? This was like years ago. He's like, just do whatever you want, Bob. Don't worry about it. Here's the money. This goes towards your thing. I'm like, Dana, you're the fucking man. Thank you for supporting this. So I took his head, bald head, (laughs) and I put a fucking mullet on his head. And I strapped it to the side of the car. And so the greatest part about the story is the fact that they have pre-qualifying. So every car is on national TV doing a lap by itself. And the commentators fucking commentate on it. Now, for a normal car, they'll have the car already dressed in full. Yeah. My problem was I didn't get my advertising uh, vector files over in time for the other companies. The only one I did get over was Dana White with the mullet on his head. So it was... Dana White's head with a mullet only on the car going around and they're fucking commentating this. You could probably pull the clip off somewhere, but it's it, Dana's car head just going around, flying around in a circle. What did Dana say about it? 
Dude, Dane is the fucking man. Dane he's and I done, talk every other yeah. fucking. Dane and I talk all the time. He's, he's the greatest dude in the fucking world. Every every video I've seen of him is just like pot. Like he just seems like he's like really a really good guy. How about the, the clip I'll with the like, uh? You know they 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 talked to the, the reporter the journalist uh tried to get him on uh yeah and he's like the, <laughs> the n bomb you dude, know so the n bomb and Dane is like dude, just doesn't does give not a fuck. Give, dude how about the clip of uh. He like does just does not give a fuck. Like mm-hmm. that's that just makes that what that's what makes him so good. And that's what makes his business separate from all the other. Like like he crushes NHL. Like UFC crushes. Well, it's all. because he went really heavy during COVID too. And it's, the sport is great it, alone, but he went really heavy during COVID. And his new thing, power slap, is I heard is that's crushing too. Like I feel like just yeah. Oh, I, are the eh. numbers not up? Are the numbers eh. not up? I always call Dana. Eh. Right, hey, Dana, name. you're my buddy. Eh. <laughs> and do you want a little traction from Dana right now? Yeah. I don't know. Power slap, I don't know. I've always told Dana my honest opinion on power slap. I don't know. What do, I mean, you, what do you think of power slap? You're I think they have to enhance the sport more. I think they have to make it more interesting than just... It's raw. Down, yeah. down, down, down. Mm-hmm. Like, it's one motion. It's one thing. And how are they finding, like, these guys to, like, just, like, like is it, like, how are they just, like, finding these dudes to just get up there and just get knocked down? <laughs> Excuse me. I believe whoever's getting this mic next, good luck. <laughs> good be, excuse me. Whoever's getting this mic next, that's, that's good luck to them. That's Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> Give this to Elliot. No, I think with Power Slap is, um, I think that the sport will evolve along the way. Yeah. But as far as me watching outside of just having support for Dana, because I love him, he's a fucking man. He's, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I think Power Slap has extreme potential. Definitely. That was like Dana pressing the button like a voodoo doll. I have to say what he says. Yeah. I think the str- the sport has extreme potential, but I think they just have to like make it more like influencers fucking with yeah. each other too. Like they got to bring in some like <laughs> no, truthfully, I think like, 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 like picture Bob and Kyle. Fucking picture like there's Portnoy no and way like so-and-so. influencers would be down to do that though. Like the people that are getting up there are sick. Like Steiny slapped the shit out of Gabe on there. Oh yeah, Steiny. Yeah, Steiny that was the most it, yeah. viewed video power slap ever got. I oh, think. actually, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he do Gabe like literally fucking dude. If I Dana, if you want me to come that. behind power slap like I did for the UFC during COVID. Call me up. I'm fucking ready to go. Bob oh, Benner, he's going to get up on the power slap. I'm going to help who, power who, slap. Who, you, who would you call out on power slap? How would I explain? No, who power would you slap? call out? Who would you call out on a power slap? Who would I slap? No, yeah. Who would you want to go against a power who slap? Who would I want to go against uh, in a power slap competition? Uh, it would be probably maybe John Shahidi. <laughs> maybe John Shahidi. I think oh Johnny God. Shahidi would be my guy, but, I, you know. Not Kyle. I love Kyle too much. John, I kind of, I, I like John too. As much as like, it's a fucked up thing about business. I don't know like, anything like about, I don't really know much about the Shahidis besides that they like run full. I don't really know much. They have about the like Shots anything. Media Company. So they, they produce a podcast company. John's yeah. very connected with a bunch of different people and all that I shit. Bet, but yeah. yeah. So, Anyone who has an Instagram handle, like one name, I feel like it's just like mad. Right? Yeah. I wonder what they, I think, I wonder what they like, paid for that. I, I can't imagine. I mean, I, you have to be mad tapped. I try to get message, Bob, but right? B-O- hard, B.O.B. Right? had it. That guy B O B, B O B, yeah, yeah. The artist you couldn't just take it from him. It would have to be like from like an inactive user, from what I've heard. I know like how St- like Steinies is like at Steiny. I think that's like. Yeah, I mean that, well, that was because there was no Steiny before Steiny. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like at to get at John is pretty good, and to get at Kyle. That's sick. Yeah, I, I feel like one name one name handles are, they're definitely worth a lot in the black market. <sighs> they do sell them on there. I, I think know. Kyle said he paid for his like. I asked him when he paid for at Kyle, and he said. You don't even want to know. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus. He said you don't. Is even it want that to important? Know. I don't know. I think it's. I mean, I think it's pretty. Like, think about it. Like, think about how many Kyles there are. Yeah, that's true. And like, you're the Kyle. Like, that would be. I don't know. You're the Kyle. You're the yeah, one you're Kyle like of the world. The Kyle. Yeah, because yeah, that's pretty good point. Think about it. If you put it in that perspective, fuck, I, 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 I can't fuck nowadays it. Instagram is like so like, like people just like get so like I don't know. People are so like, uptight about it. I feel like. So are you ready to go tomorrow for, for, yes. are you like ready? Like, are you guys like actually like, do me, are you like outdoorsy fucking, people? Yeah. Oh yeah. I said that with a little hesitation. No. Yeah. I, I, I fucking, are you ready to eat like raw fish when we catch it? And like, you have to like eat raw, like, like we have to, like, we cannot do, we are not bringing coolers. We are not oh, bringing yeah. water. I'm down. We are not bringing water. Like, you are not allowed all... to have a water bottle on the boat, bro. Listen, everybody, this is going to be all on that video, on this vlog. And you're going to see the rawness of how real this is going to be. And, uh, yeah, I I used to we we used to cut open uh in the winter we were cutting open the lakes and jumping in jump cutting open the ponds. I like it. I like the outdoors. I'm yeah. an outdoorsy guy. This like isn't that snow. bad. I like, I like the hardest no, part. No, not is- that snow. The fucking the the regular snow. I like I like cold. I like being. Don't trigger me. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> come on. 
Wait, yeah. but hold on. So, so, so the, the sleeping part is going to be interesting. So I don't know how long you guys are going to do out there. Uh, well, because you have to get back to business. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Business, yeah, yeah, business, business yeah. yeah, of course. But I will say this, uh, that me and Elliot are kind of like ride or dies. Okay. And like we are kind of like the kind of guys that will stay out there for like 10 days <laughs> and not give a fuck and survive off nothing. So how long realistically do you think you could stay on a deserted island? A month. A month with no Easily. service. I could stay for a year with Elliot. No I, service? We'll have all the service and the power generators and shit going. Right. We have to. And there so is we will service. have service. That was one of my big things because I, I don't want to, because I still have to do business. Yeah. But like. So we do have service. Oh, okay. We right. have service on the island. We oh, don't know okay. service. And we'll no. have power. We'll have power and service. You can charge your phones and stuff? Yeah. You can charge your phones. Like we're gonna, And then like there will be. One care. boat that we can call, but they can't bring like food or water or anything like that. They can only bring power. <laughs> they can only bring power. What's that clip of um? <laughs> <laughs> because power, because we need to. We're doing this for the people. Oh my god! Do you ever see? You ever see dodgeball when they like snuck in all the snacks? <laughs> we're gonna have no. like fucking Oreos in the. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna be allowed to. You'll be you'll be you'll be thrown off the fucking island if you fucking sneak in. This is like Mr. Beast. Yeah. Who leaves the island first wins the, <laughs> wins the island. Oh, Let's I go. can't. I don't know. I mean, Elliot will never leave. I mean, Elliot survived. Like I said, I think. Does nine. he like ha like what's his like? Does he have a, like Does he have a family or kids or? Uh, no, I think he's a single he's single guy. Dude, just fucking. Uh, I've seen his videos on Instagram. I just couldn't believe that he was pulling these sharks off of Nantucket, right out of all the places. Um, hold on one second. I'm just filming this pod. I'm letting them know. Uh, yeah, he, he catches the craziest shit in the world. Um, Speaking of Nantucket, I mean, I heard. I mean, they do this. There. Here's the deal. This is the best way you describe great whites. Yeah. Elliot told me that you look at five or six years ago. Yeah. There was 50 great white sharks on this island. Yeah. Right. I think that's what he said. He said, cut to present day. Now there's 500. He said, you cut to about 10 to 15 years from now with all the resources and food on this island that we're going to. No. There's so many seals. There's so much food. There's so many. This will be like Cape Ann, South Africa. Wow. Before you know it, you're not going to be able to go swimming in the waters. That's, you know, in, in 15, 15, 20 years because the great white sharks are taking over. But you know what? Our job is, our job is to tag them. So we must. So when we get, a, if we get, if we see a great white, not catch you're going to jump on his back. You're yep. going to wrangle him. Do we bring them to shore or what do we do? Uh, if we, we happen to catch, if we happen to catch, so basically there's two if different ways. If we bring a great white to shore, I will If we jump bring on a great white to shark, yeah. sure, there's a very good chance. It would be a long wrangle. It would be like a long. I so if we probably brought in, like, give me, give me how big? How, how, like, what would be like a crazy, like 12 footer? 13 feet. Thir all right. So 13 foot, if we hooked one from the shore, from the beach, I will get on its back. Yeah. It's going to take us about 12 and a half hours to reel in. Holy shit, they're that powerful. Depending how deep it is out there. Because their power is whatever, and they will swim away yeah. and fu whatever. But if we Have you them, jumped on the back of a shark before? But you're not supposed to catch great whites, but we're not trying to catch great whites. But if we happen to catch a great white, we're, we're, we tag them. Scientific reasons. I'm yes. protecting Elliot, I guess. I don't give two fucks. I don't know the rules. I don't want Pete to come out. Scientific after reasons. We're not, we're, not, we're not killing great whites. I mean, yeah, exactly. We're not over there fucking, yeah. We're not, Everyone what is it, the relax. Japanese whale people? Yeah, yeah we're not we're killing We're not those them. people. We're not the Jap. That show was so funny. You remember that show? Dude, that was a hit show. That's yeah, the only on one I really Discovery watched. Channel. But so if a great white does happen, what would happen is about 12 hours, Elliot's reeling, 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 his arms get fucking tired. You step in, you jump in, you reel, 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 and then I jump in, reel, and we all rotate, and we reel, 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 and let it go, and reel, 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 and it's a fucking grind. I mean, for we caught one little brown shark, whatever the fuck, dusty shark, whatever it was, like this big, took us about fucking 30 minutes to get in. He was a little fighter. That's wild. Yeah, you're gonna see some really great content tomorrow. Oh like, yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna get some great. Tomorrow content. will be the. Tomorrow will be intense because, I think Sat Saturday will be more intense because if you we do the little inflatable boat and go out, they'll be swimming right. We're like around. the Somalian pirates on the fucking inflatable boat going oh, out. We'll right? be right near him, brother. Dude, this is gonna be unreal. So I can't I'm, wait. I'm, I'm talk about like an experience that like you'll never like like tornado. Bob was chasing tornadoes. He's catching great white sharks like. The oh, fuck, dude? Tornado's a lot more scary. Yeah, How what's a tornado? Die, was, what's, a, what's catching a tornado like? We got a little baby one. We got a baby EF1, EF2, so it was moving it like... It wasn't that big, but, but I remember flying in. I had talked. I met Reed Timmer. Reed's one of the best storm chasers in the world, and he... I always was fascinated with tornadoes, alligators, and sharks. So I spend all my time on YouTube. I don't watch movies. I'll just watch alligators eating things. I'll watch sharks eating things. I'll watch fucking so tornadoes blow places over. So tornadoes fascinated me. 
So I was like, fuck it. I want to find the best storm chaser in the world. Well, I found Reed. Me and Reed started getting together, talking back and forth. And finally, after like four attempts, unsuccessful, I said, fuck it. Let's go. I landed in Missouri. I landed bumfuck Missouri in the middle of nowhere. And we land. And he <laughs> picks me up in his Subaru with like <laughs> hail dents everywhere in the car. Like this car picks me up and it's got like fucking craters all around it. Like Sounds like hail. your average Subaru driver. <laughs> average Subaru driver. So we end up fucking, he picks me up, he drops me off this like Motel 6 in the middle of bumfuck Missouri. I'm talking the flattest land you'll ever see. Tornado Alley, Dixie Alley, middle of nowhere. I go to sleep, don't fall asleep, up all night freaking the fuck out. I'm like, where am I? So a car would drive by, there was probably four cars that drove by where I was staying. So I was on a hotel that was right here, the highway was right here. And every time the car drove by, I thought it was a tornado. I was freaking the fuck out because it was like, because it, it, it's so quiet there. Yeah. It was like, so, and it would just sound like, it'd be like, and then it would just I'd be like, oh, it's a car. And then after the first two, I thought, I was like, okay, those are just cars. And then I, I didn't sleep the whole entire night before. Reed knocked on my door at 10 a.m. and said, okay, let's go. It's time to go. It's looking like an EF4, EF5 banger. And I go, fuck. I went to the gas station with him. I said, drop me off the gas station. I got uh, 18 pack of Bud Lights. Uh, excuse me, <clears throat> not Bud Lights. I got, an 18, I got an 18 pack of uh, whatever beer I got at the time. Might have been Bud Lights. Might have been pre the whole whatever yeah. the weird shit happened. Okay, yeah, yeah. And drank 12 of them in one hour. Wow. Not even. Tw- yeah, 12 in one hour. Just pound, 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 getting fucked up because I'm going into a fucking tornado. We, all these storm chasers gather in a circle in a parking lot. And then they're all like, which storm are you chasing? Because like, basically with the tornado is all these different storms are firing off everywhere. So you got to pick where you want to go. You're going down to fucking north to Illinois. You're going to Iowa. You're going, like, you pick your spot. And long story short is everybody chooses where they want to go. And then uh, some people hit, some people miss, blah, blah, blah. So we ended up driving into, uh, there's two ways to go about it. You can say, hypothetically, the tornado is coming this way, right? You can go right here. You can wait and watch it come, get as close to it, watch it pass and go by. If you're a little late to the storm, sometimes you have to catch it from behind. No pun intended on my ex-girlfriend there. But sometimes you got to pe- catch the tornado from behind. The problem is when you catch it from behind, there's a bunch of hail that comes along with it. And so you go through and you punch through all that storm and then you get through like a little silent period. And then the tornado's right there. What's the goal though? Like to get sucked off? I mean, suck, sucked S- off by a tornado? Like, to get sucked up by girl? Like, like, like what sucked up? Like, like, what's the goal? Like, what do you? No, the no. goal is to be sucked <laughs> off by the tornado. So basically, you go through the punch of the hail, you put your dick in the tornado, and it sucks you off. <laughs> like, you try to get in the center of the tornado, like, like fucking that movie. What's he it called? He wants to get you as close to it as possible. He yeah. is the most daredevil. General and junkie. Yeah. He, I mean, but he looks you in the eyes and he says, when you're nervous, he says, I guarantee survival. And I'm like, he Don't know what that means, Reed, but I'm fucking... They also him. guaranteed survival to those submarine people. Did he really? <laughs> no. Okay, no, good. I'm joking. I was going to say. That was a dark no, but Reed joke. really is really good at what he does. So he tries to... He knows what he's doing. I mean, he's been so close. He's chased over a thousand tornadoes. Yeah. Never died. But his buddy did get caught up. The nighttime tornadoes I don't chase. I won't go after the nighttime ones because you can't see anything. And the only way you can see the tornado is a lightning flash or if a power box blows up. Right? So you're like, it's just blind. You're just fucking in the middle of nowhere driving and it's like there but you don't know where it is you have to wait for a power flash or you have to wait for a lightning strike to see it and then our buddy who actually chased with us that day got got caught up in the last one missouri should have died should have been dead and got picked up thrown 200 yards car was in a fucking pretzel and then next thing you know next week he's back in the car with us (laughs) these guys sound like sickos imagine oh don't imagine you'll do it oh i'm down i'm down yeah let's do it I mean, I, I think we go. Uh, we need I'm, just you, you. You need a video of this stuff. Like, why have you not been videoing this stuff? Because I live a real life, Bob. You, I'm telling you, this. I is live a real life. We're getting back in the content game. All right, fine, maybe. Yeah, he's like, all right. He's like, all right. All right maybe, maybe. He's like, right. I'm telling you, Bob. This is gonna be a breakthrough. I'm telling you right now. I, after that door fucking closed, I heard the smack of wind. Fucking hit me in the face, and I looked over at Bob. And Bob's face was like, it's game fucking on. Like a lion in the fucking Serengeti. He's ready to go. Look at him. He's dialed this already. Not, this is actually business. This is not normally what this would be me cutting away to do it's the okay. old shit. Yeah, you're good. No, what no. I'm going to need the, the boys to do is nothing. I mean, tonight I think we maybe go fishing. Want to get some rods? Yeah, let's go fucking fish get some down rods. There, or we can go get fucked up down by the... Uh, there's two things. There's a lot of fish down there over there. I'm down. But there's also... We can also go get fucked up at the uh, at the bar if you the want. The local bar. Chase some new... Get Bob. But we also don't want to be hung over a ferry. 
Yeah. Like, wouldn't you rather be well rested? No, no, no. The ferry is the best place. There's a there's a lot of like hot girls on the ferry. Really? Oh, dude, yeah, the fast ferry. Just as you're trying to get me back to fucking. No, work, no, no. I'm not trying. I mean, we could go out in Nantucket tomorrow if you really wanted to. I mean, Friday nights in Nantucket are smacking, but. Wait, really? Oh yeah, la- yeah I went well, out guess last what? Friday. You know what's not smacking? There's no great whites uh, partying out in Nantucket at nope. the fucking local nope, bar, nope, is there? Nope, nope, nope. Because nope. when you do, what would you rather do? Fuck a bitch, come on her face once, or fucking jump on a great white's back? I would rather jump on a great white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's gonna get you more views? Unless you want to create an OnlyFans and fuck <laughs> Summer and then go make a million dollars. Oh my do. god. But yeah, last time I'll say her name. Yeah. My apologies. No, no, you're good. Yeah. A great time today. This yeah, is a great no, time. Right? We've been this going for a while, it's right? Well, yeah. This I know. is a normal podcast. Yeah. I'll I mean, go all night if you want, but no, no, this is great. I mean, I don't even know how long we've been going for. Do you know the word? Do you know what would be a really, really cool? Uh, I love weed. I have my weed gummies coming too. Uh, a really cool operation. What? A really cool operation that could take place would be we could also. What do you think the world record is for longest podcast ever done? I don't know. What is it? Not that. Not that realistic. Based it's on be, my research, it's be... thirty-six hours. I think. <laughs> dude, dude, like, dude, 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 dude. I don't know how more. Pe- I, I don't want to reveal the secret, but I think. <laughs> This yeah. is, bro, let's break the world record for longest podcast ever. I'm down. Third. We could do that. We could do that. We, we, 36 we, hours, dude? Easy. Look at look at what the longest podcast ever recorded was. How do we upload that to YouTube? Imagine, like, trying to upload that. What? 153 hours. Yeah, Bob, I don't know what's that. <laughs> Relapse on Adderall. <laughs> Perfect. We got an Adderall fucking plug coming to the house right yeah, now. Exactly, exactly. No, we, I think 153 hours. That's what? How many days? Well, that's that's a lot of days. A week long podcast. Holy, fuck. we could do it. Dude, a week long, we could dude. Do it. Give me some fucking. Give me some shreddy and some ghosts. Wait, I'd be fucking wired out of my mind. Other parameters? No. We have seven days. <laughs> a month. <laughs> What has Bob done for a month? He's just been doing a podcast nonstop for a month. But I do think like a month long podcast, not a month long podcast. If we could break the world record for longest podcast, that's the coolest thing. That's you like that's do. like what that's. Yeah. But does it have to be the same host, or is it just under the same show? I, same show, I think. And I think it would have no. We'd See, have that's to a look bailout. That up. We'd have to look that up. We that's a up. fucking bailout. If it's the same show, yeah. And you can rotate people in, they can go sleep. Fuck that. It's got to be the same fucking host, like me, you, and then rotating a guest yeah, over yeah. the hundred and fifty three hour course. Oh yeah, and I'm really we it could do I'm... it, dude. Realistically, think about it. We get a line of guests. We get like good guests, like a line of like ten guests, and then I don't know. You'd have to shoot it at a place that like uh, it'd be like this. You shoot it at a place like dude, this. day five, six. But if you keep the, that's what I, that's why I want to know more information about it. So the, the 153 hour podcast, if it's I the same host, it. cats off to him. You'll be hallucinating at the end. Yeah, but that's something that you need to you need to look into because that's something that would be like break the internet shit. Hundred percent. That's how you. That's how you fucking really. We I would think make smoke a name. the internet. You know? One guy did a 36 hour one, but then a team of people did like So we're uh, so yeah. we'll have so we'll how break day uh, what'd you say how many Okay, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could do I it. I mean that's a great like dude, bro, you should do that what? all day. Take zaps and just fucking like the old days no. like me. No more zaps. No more zaps. No more zaps for me, but I'm saying like I would you pound the Adderall and just fucking I used to do I mean dude, I used to be prescribed Adderall. Like, dude, I had Concerta. You know what Concerta is? I have um, wicked ADHD. Like that dude. was the that was the that was the brown. Yes, dude. Um, the the, the cylinder like thirty milligrams. That's like a lot. Right? It released after a long period. Yes, of time. Yes, yes. And I had those. I was doing those for like fucking years, because I was prescribed to them, and I just stopped doing it because I get fucked up my appetite. It fucked up like the appetite. My sleep, worst. dude. Like, yeah, the appetite is the worst thing because like I want to eat and like I'm I, I like work out a lot too, so like, I don't want to like fuck up my like diets and stuff. Oh well, it will do that. Yeah, and it does. And like you have mood swings. Mm-hmm. People notice your mood swings too. I didn't. I didn't really even have a chance to really like get any of those side effects or anything because I was just doing it so much. Yeah. That like, if I had taken one, say I just took one, and like I'm feeling shit and feeling whatever, and like 20 minutes, somebody's like, "Yo, here's another one," and like just when I have no off button. Yeah. It's an adrenaline gland. Like it's like basically an adrenaline gland that just fires on all cylinders. So, um, but yeah. What do you guys think? We we yeah, we, we should do it. Yeah, should we do it? What are you guys thinking as far as uh, this, this show here? We're gonna keep I going. I think we or? could easily. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. I'll we, go all night, but I'm saying you, I, I don't know. Did you did you do a story on what WDW? Yeah, throw it up. Yeah, do a little boomerang. 
And then uh, just, you know, great white sharks, zaps, uh, and all that. But, dude, I mean, like I said, I'll feed. I'm, I'm very, like, not selfish. If people treat me with respect, like you guys basically have on, like, normally what a normal operation would do, based on what you guys have on footage on that camera, is a bloodbath <laughs> between me and Summer, right? Yeah. So, like, out of respect. Yeah, we would never, yeah. Like, that can't. That footage is going. But no. But I think that certain Biden's things laptop. during in, intersected in this podcast should be thrown in there. It's up to you. I mean, it's, it's no. All, we have. You're to. gonna see. We're gonna look through it after this, and you're gonna choose what you want to put in. Are we gonna obviously. watch this tonight? Yeah. Are we not posting this tonight? I think you said we want to post this episode tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. All right. So fucking, let's go then. What are we waiting right? for? Are we good? Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. We're good. Yeah. Let's we're just good. fucking get ready this episode. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hundred percent. Good shit. Yeah, good fucking shit. Let's do it. Yeah.